basically exacerbate the problem and add to it a little bit uh, to where it's going to keep those waters from receding a little bit as it exits the state uh, by Friday. So they're reporting that this is one of the most powerful hurricanes ever to hit our country. Is that actually a fact? Um, well, you know, so for in this area, this would be the most intense hurricane that's uh, that struck this area uh, since 1851, if I remember correctly. So uh, this well, this would be this would be it. yeah. Intense, very intense. But and this one is going to be heavy rain, or is it going to be the winds that are going to be the problem? Storm surge and winds. Uh, and then for G Georgia, they're going to see high inland winds. So you may see sustained Category 1, Category 2 winds with higher gusts uh, that are associated. So uh, we're expecting a, a, a lot of damage uh, inland as well. But we have leaned forward with Governor Scott and his staff and Director West Mall down in Florida. They've been leaning forward as well. And, uh, you know, right now there's no identified shortfalls uh, when it comes to pre-positioning. So we have teams, equipment, personnel, not only with and embedded with uh, State of Florida staff and some of the local uh, county emergency managers, but we have uh, equipment teams staged in Maxwell to Atlanta to Orlando ready to move in once we can once the elements subside and push through and then we can move in and, and attack. Yep. We did not like uh, the level of evacuation activity that we were seeing and uh, you know Governor Scott, uh, kudos to him, he leaned forward, used the new uh, wireless emergency alert capabilities uh, that we have and sent out text, you know, text messaging last night, leaned forward and said, hey, get out of there. And so we were trying to get people to really take the, ser the storm seriously. Uh, a lot of people did heed the warning, but then there are those who chose to stay behind. And unfortunately, uh, first responders may not be able to go in and, and rescue those who, who dial 911 at this point. I uh, had a long talk with uh, Rick Scott, Governor Scott of Florida, very well coordinated with all of the states. And, you know, one of the things that must be said is it's not so easy for some of these people to leave. Some of the areas are very poor. Uh, not easy for a person without the necessary money to leave. So what we've done is we've sent buses. We've sent a lot of different uh, — we're doing a lot of different things to try and remove people from the area. But a lot of people are very poor in certain of those areas, and it's very tough for them to leave. That's one of the problems you're finding, I guess. Huh? Uh, yeah, in some cases, uh, you know, you know what, what we ask to do on, on Blue Sky Days is ask people who uh, may not have the means or the mechanisms to get out of town to register with their local emergency management agencies, and Florida's been pretty robust in doing that so that we have some idea of how to pre-plan for that. And then, um, you know, we, we do what we can to be able to support the movement of people. The red area basically is the area where it's going to hit pretty heavily. And that's a, that's a lot of shore. It's yes. a lot of land. There'll be four, four feet in storm surge all the way down to Tampa Bay, which, as you know, is very low-lying and floods very easily. But to give you that idea of the breadth of its path, it, it is quite large. It's almost the entire size of the Gulf. It, it, when you look at it topically, it's almost the entire size of the Gulf. And they haven't seen that. Maybe they haven't seen that at all. Nobody's seen that before. Uh, the, the, the eye diameter is, is pretty wide, which, uh, unfortunately, is not good news as it makes landfall. So uh, some people may say it's similar to an EF3 tornado making landfall uh, in, in areas that are uh, close to the eye, so it's, it's, uh... Did last year's hurricane in the area? Uh, I, I really worry a little bit about South Carolina and North Carolina from the standpoint they're already saturated, and they're going to get a, a reasonable hit, right? Right, yeah, they, they will. So you're going to see, uh, as much as eight, you know, possibly eight inches in isolated areas through South Carolina and North Carolina, and as I said, it's all about the, uh, the rivers being able to process the water from Florence, and, and some of them haven't had the time to do that, so this doesn't help.